YouTube. Easter Sunday. What's up? Hi, Katie. So here we are. Again. So just me or these uh, Sundays seem to be getting closer and closer together. And the weekend is not getting any longer. Got the 100 gallon here. Now, give you the proper number. Dose 12 was Saturday. I'd actually ran out the uh, trial quantity that New Algae had sent me. Um, so I emailed Neil and he went through and uh, sent me a, another bottle to uh, make it through the rest of the 12 weeks as I think we originally did the math as a 7 day dose and freshwater tanks get a 4 day dose period. So if I would have had 7 days I would have made it to 12 but it was four days I needed a uh, few extra doses. Uh, this tank got a, I think a 60% water change this week, which usually this tank, I don't, gets about a 10 gallon top off uh, each week due to relatively open top and the trickle filter causes a lot of evaporation. Um, but yeah, I did great big water change just to clean out some of the tannins. It was getting pretty brown. Move the two power heads over here. Uh, I still have to go in and move the gravel back. That's where you can see where I was dumping water back in with a bucket as my adapter for my python does not fit any fixture in my house right now. Mm. My bigger. Usually gets no real attention. Unfortunately from feeding those worms, I, mean, I don't rinse them off first like I should. I had a bunch of peat moss that's sort of in there, so I have to suck that out. But at the same time, it doesn't hurt anything. This peat moss is pretty good for a tank. River's doing good here. One, uh, you can sort of see the size difference there between that Australian rainbow and this one. That one is a little bit more of a bully and aggressive about getting a food, whereas that one's a lot more passive. But they're both healthy, that's all that matters. Kitty, don't get under my feet. Silver dollars are growing quick. Bala sharks are just massive, so it's what they do. Uh, I know the bigger of the two right here, he's pushing about ten and a half, probably eleven inches now. That one's probably closer to about nine and a half or ten. Uh, without grabbing them up out of the tank, it's pretty hard to get a good measurement of them. And well, <laughs> you want to try, try to catch a ball of sharks? You're nuts. They don't come easy. But on to the Look at the 20 long here. Everybody's doing great. Angels are finally getting to the point where I might move them to, uh, I'll probably give them another about a month in this tank. Uh, and then move them to the 100 gallon where they originally were planned. I uh, got them at they were probably close to about the size of a nickel. And now they're about half dollar size, so they should be able to handle them a little better. 
then originally where two of them get eaten. Uh, I'm guessing by... I think one was eaten by the baker and the other one probably by the puffer. But yet again, New Algae is amazing. Still have yet to clean this glass month now. Same with this one. Uh, I don't know if I should clean the outside, but the lack of tannins made seeing through this tank a lot easier. And if you'll notice, if anybody actually pays attention, there used to be a neon in this tank. I'll show you where he went in a second. That uh, 10 gallon I set up, yeah, there he is. Single ram's horn. I uh, put four MTS juveniles in here. Uh, this is just going to be a sn snail grow out tank. Uh, for MTS and Ram's Horn to feed the puffers. Uh, I got five gallon out. Uh, needs a little more cleanup. That is going to get uh, water, about three gallons of water. Uh, I'm going to get some uh, assassin snails from the 15. We'll put them there. Let them grow out. Try to sell some. Cause, yeah. They're easy money if they actually get them to grow out. But as for the 15, as you can see, everything is still just doing what it does. I need to get in there and trim that leaf. That's been bugging me for like a week and I keep forgetting to do it. But. Moss, and shrimp, and more moss, and more shrimp. Everywhere. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Just everywhere. Uh, this tank actually was going to give about a 30% water change today because this tank rarely gets one. Uh, I want to start changing that and actually including this in my weekly water change schedule from now on. Uh, do yeah, about a 20 or 30% water change. Do 5 gallon. Um, I mean it's a really low maintenance tank so doesn't really need it for a nutrient load wise, but shrimp do appreciate a water change. Uh, it helps them molt faster, molt more often, uh, which will also increase their breeding capacity. As I haven't seen any new shrimp in here lately. I think that might have been just because of the snail population, which, as you can see on the glass, there is a lot less snails. Uh, I sucked another uh, about three gallons of water and a few hundred snails out in the middle of the week. Uh, but there's still quite a few, and the population could easily explode again if I don't keep that up. So I think every time I do a water change, I will be sucking out some snails. Um, I'm probably going to take about 10 of these out of here and put it into that 5 gallon and let them grow out uh, and maybe possibly even put a mystery snail or two in there to uh, grow until the point where the assassin snails will probably just eat it. Or may possibly just uh, set up my four gallon that I have out in the shed and use that for the mystery snails. Because I need a large, large snail uh, for feeding the red spot buffer. 
But, uh, yeah. It's this week's update. So, hopefully those of you that celebrate Easter had a good one. Those of you that don't, hope you had a good day. I will catch you guys next week.